You're going to love the new Spring Mix Stamp TV Kit for so many reasons. Aside from making beautiful springtime cards, it also allows you to create other styles of cards which will keep you using these stamps way past the spring season. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this quick and easy, clean and simple Asian influenced square card using the stamps, pattern paper, and cardstock from the Spring Mix Kit. Let me show you the tools and products you're going to need for this project. First, you're going to need a couple of the stamps from the new Spring Mix Kit. And I'm using the oval, I'm using these Asian flowers, and then I'm using the thank you stamp. Then you're also going to need a stamp on the jig some coffee bean ink. You're going to need a Nestabilities die and um, this one is from the classic ovals and these these particular stamps were made to fit perfectly with Nestabilities dies so you will see how perfectly this is going to fit when we're going to cut it out. You'll see. Okay and then you're also going to need some cardstock from the kit. So what I've done is I've cut a piece of the Chocolate Kiss cardstock and I've turned it into a four and a quarter inch square card. I have some of the Pure Luxury white cardstock and then one of the pattern papers from the new Spring Mix kit which is just beautiful. I love this pattern paper. And you're going to need some pop dots. You're going to need some sort of adhesive and I'm using my Glue Glider Pro and an extra piece of cardstock to stamp your images on. I'm also going to use my cuddle bug for my die cutting. So to begin, I'm going to start by stamping the oval image onto my white cardstock. Let me move some of this out of the way. Okay. I'm going to stamp that. You can see the nice crisp image you get. And for the next part, I'm going to stamp my flowers inside, but I really want to position them perfectly. So I'm going to use my stamp a jig and ink up my stamp. And then prepare my imaging sheet by stamping my image on the sheet first. Now I can see exactly where I want that to be. So if you just wanted it to be the focal image and you didn't want anything else on the card, you could put it right in the center like that and you can see how perfectly that fits in there. But because I want to add a greeting, I'm going to move it way over to the side because this stamp and this oval were designed to coordinate together so that it would leave room on this side to add a greeting and you could make this entire oval piece your focal image with the greeting, the whole thing. So I'm going to place it there and remove my imaging sheet and now I'm going to ink up my stamp and stamp it right into that spot. Now you can see it's perfectly off to the right hand side exactly where I wanted it. And now I want to place my words perfectly too, so I'm going to again set up my imaging sheet on my stamp -a jig There's my little thank you. And now I can see exactly where I want to put it, and I just want to pop it right there. You see how nice that looks? Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see that a little more closely. So now you can see exactly where that is on the imaging sheet. And when I set up my stamp on the jig and then I stamp it, it'll be in that exact spot. So let me ink up my thank you stamp and stamp it. And now I've got my perfect little thank you exactly where I wanted it. My next step is to die cut my image out using the Nestabilities Classic Oval Die. And you can see by the way this is designed that as long as you position it so that the dotted line is right along the same line as that oval, you get a perfect image, perfect cut. I'm going to pop my C plate on top and run it through. And again, you know I love the fact that the nest abilities are open so you can emboss, so I'm going to just emboss that and make sure that that area then is now raised. 
I'm going to do that by flipping over my image. Now the blade side is up. I'm going to place my tan mat and a B plate and a piece of chipboard and I'm going to create an embossed center. So now I've embossed the center of that and that's a very hard thing to pick up on camera but when you do it yourself you'll be able to see how the embossed line, the stitched line is just along the embossing. It's really neat. I've layered my cardstock together with my patterned paper, my piece of white, and my chocolate kiss card base. And I decided to use the Nestability's Lotus Die. I love this. Spellbinders makes this beautiful Lotus Die. And I've cut it out using a piece of our Chocolate Kiss cardstock. And you would think because it's a round die that you can only use a round image with it, but it really looks great using an oval image with it too. One of the things I love about this die is it works with both the circle image in our kit and the oval image in our kit. So I'm just going to add a little bit of my Glue Glider Pro onto this part there and pop my oval right into place like that. And then I'm going to adhere this whole thing onto my card using some pop dots just to give it a little bit it's not they're not very thick pop dots but they give it a nice little raised look and adds a little bit more dimension to the card and I'm going to place that right in the center of my card and that is one quick and easy project Try this same layout using some of the soft pink or soft blue pattern papers from the Spring Mix kit for a softer springtime feel, or mix in your own pattern papers and stamps to create the perfect quick and easy card for any occasion.